Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this problem, we're going to be looking at a one-sample t-test problem. So in this problem, a company has asserted a claim that their car can accelerate in a certain number of seconds or less. So we do a test to see if that claim is true. Um, so we can set up our null hypothesis as h naught with the claim, with the given mean, being less than or equal to 3.2 seconds. Now, our alternative hypothesis is that it takes longer than 3.2 seconds. So we can write h a mu is greater than 3.2. Now, you have to be careful about the wording of the problem. If the problem was worded as the, the company claiming that it is greater than or equal to. So then the alternative hypothesis is less than. So watch the equal sign here. Now we have a few given variables for the rest of the problem. The first one being the sample mean, which was given as 3.4 seconds, which was the mean of the cars that we tested ourselves. And then we also have um, a standard deviation of our sample, which was 0 0.3 seconds. The number of samples that we tested is 31. And our alpha value, our significance level, is 0 0.01. Now we have all the necessary information to complete the problem. Now we can write our formula for the test statistic, t, because this is a t-test. That is equal to the sample mean minus the given mean over the sample standard deviation divided by the sample size the square root of the sample size. And if we evaluate that, we get 3.71. Now, we have to compare this value with the value that we see in the table for 31 sample size and an alpha value of 0 0.01. So in order to do that, we first need to find the degrees of freedom in our, in our t-table. And the degrees of freedom is very simple. It's just the, the sample size minus 1, which is equal to 30. Now, once we look uh, at our t-table for this significance level and this degree of freedom, we get that t of an alpha equals 0 0.01 and a degrees of freedom of 30 is equal to 2.457. Now this is our rejection criteria. Now we can word this in such a way that it will help us figure out whether we can reject or uh, fail to reject the null hypothesis. So we do that by just saying rejection if our sample t value that we calculated here is greater than the t value that we found on the table which is 2.457. Now, just as a visual, I can sketch out the normal distribution, and we see that our ejection criteria is 2.457, and our calculated value is 3.71, and this is a one-sided uh, one t-test. So our rejection region is this area here, and we can see pretty clearly that, yes, indeed, our test statistic falls within the rejection region. So we can conclude that there is a statistically significant difference between our sample and the, the claim, the given mean, at an alpha value of 0 0.01. So we can say that um, it is in the rejection region. We can reject uh, the null hypothesis.